Welcome back to the channel everyone and thank you all for tuning in. It's Bucket Brad here with another video. Um, today's video is going to be going over a Baku Mail package that I got. That's right. Got some more Baku Mail right here. Uh, this was a trade with a Discord member. I'm not going to say the uh, name just for, I don't know, respect reasons. But anyway, this was an awesome trade. I do have an idea of what's in here, but I'm not 100% sure on everything. So pretty excited about it. Um, it is always really awesome to get mail, you know, trade with the Baku Crew members. Um, I do have it kind of pre-cut, but I didn't open it all the way. Here is some proof. See, it's still a little sticky. Don't know all what's inside. Going to be doing this live on camera for the first time. So I'm going to go ahead and get right into it. Right off the bat, that is some excellent packing. We got those good bubbles. Gonna make sure nothing breaks. And starting off the bat, we got a little My Little Pony. Here we go. Oh yeah, so this is awesome. This is one thing I knew that was in here. Um, and it was the diamond I never found. So kind of take the box to the side and bring it back a little bit. That is the Diamond Neo Pegatrix from Evolutions. Oh, it looks amazing. Kind of get a little better focus here. There we go. Awesome Bakugan. I dig the white metal and the blue accents on there. That looks amazing. And of course, the diamond bits are the feet, arms, head, and then the wings. That looks awesome. So then, yeah, here is the back of the packaging. Gotta love G2. You know, instead of the stats, you just get what's included. Very awesome. I will be unboxing that later. Don't know about this video, but potentially. Let's see what else we have in the little goodie box. Here we go. Oh, sweet. Yeah, I knew this was in here as well. Kind of get it. Here we go. This is going to be my very first Wave 3 for, uh, for Generation 3. I don't count the Street Brawl stuff I'm going to be unboxing live on stream because... Uh, you know, technically that's wave two. Wow, I, I want to thank you. Um, you know, who I traded with, obviously. I want to thank you for wrapping it. Wow, it's serious. Can't even get it off. But hey, that's awesome. Because you know what? I didn't have to worry about anything being broken or damaged. So just, just to put that out there, nothing is damaged. Everything does look perfectly fine. Oh, well, if I don't ruin it first, I dropped it there, but here we have it. So this is Wave 3 Titanium Bruiser. Look at how awesome this thing is. Barely any paint, so you're going to get almost a full translucent Bakugan. There it is in the corner. Little artwork of the Diamond Bruiser. That's really neat. Almost looks like the Diamond from the, uh, the Special Attack one. And then on the back, I do have a, a character card here for Titan King. I'll get into that here in a moment. But yeah, here we have the back of the packaging for Bruiser. So a quick look at the stats. 100 health, 400 speed, and 400 strength. I mean, not bad. Obviously, Misfit Clan. So yeah, Titanium Bruiser Diamond. So this is the diamond for Wave 3. Um, I don't know what the special attack diamond is going to end up being, but huge. Yeah, super huge. Definitely excited about both of those. I mean, that is just flipping awesome. An e Evolution's Bakugan that I missed out on, and then a Titanium Bruiser that is just as awesome. So now I'm going to go ahead and get into all the other goodies. Man, Baku Mail Day is awesome. All right, here we go. I don't know which one to start out with, but I guess I'll start with the one that has Titan King in it. Because honestly, I did not expect all of these. I'm very excited, very happy. Uh, thank you again. You know who. I just I don't want to use names for respect reasons. I don't like just throwing out everyone's name or handle. Not something that I generally do without permission. And unfortunately, before this video, because it's so early in the morning before I go to work, I didn't get permission, so that's my fault. But anyway, here we have Titan King. So this isn't just any Titan King. I do believe that this counts as the Sparkle one. 
because it did come from the Amazon uh, exclusive set. So I think the paint is a little more uh, sparkly or shiny, um, or it's the plastic. I'm not sure, but one of those. Either way, this is Arliss Titan King, so very, very happy to have that one. I did have it before, like, don't get me wrong, I have Arliss Titan King, but uh, I traded mine, so now I think I only have the Legends version of it. Or no, 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 I only have the Evolutions version of it, so I wanted the uh, Geogen Rising colored one back. But here is the stats for Titan King, 4 energy cost, B power of 1900 with 5 damage. So not bad at all, you know, not too bad. I don't think I ever really used a, a, a Geogon deck or a, a TCG deck in the pro game that used Geogon. I, I probably should make one, even though, you know, the TCG is kind of over. Uh, luckily, people still play it. So I did not leave out a gate card. I have no gate card. I can't show off the Titan King. Hold on, everyone. I have to find something metal. I think I can do it. I'm running around. You can't see me because I'm off camera, but I am running around. Here I am. Hold on. We have metal right here, right here. Bam. There we go. Oh, knocked over the bruiser. But we have the Titan King. Huzzah, Titan King. Very nice Bakugan. And also messed up hand from work. Don't wear gloves for too long. It destroys your hands. But here is the Amazon exclusive Titan King. Man, it looks awesome. I like the mold of Titan King. It just looks really cool, in my opinion. Like a little golem. I guess that's what it's supposed to be, but... Anyway, I think it's awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and tilt the camera down just a tad bit more, you know. Yeet that box out of the way. We don't need the box anymore. And again, sorry for the, um... I guess the, uh, the angle of the camera. I was, um, what's it called? I had everything set up for the live stream, so I had to put everything together rather quickly to figure something out. All right, moving on, because I see a lot of B1 goodies. By the way, I'm reusing these for my own mail, so everything goes full circle. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, oh yes, it's one of my favorites, let's go! We have an Aquas, all right, get better zoom here, an Aquas B1 Centipoid. And yes, it was Centipoid originally, not Centipod. I don't know why G2 changed the name, but anyhow, one of my favorites, actually, to be such a simple design. I will be opening that here in a minute, but I do want to open all the B1s together. So let's open them all to open them all. Here it looks like it is a Ventus Reaper. Holy moly, I had no idea I was going to be getting this. That's huge. I do have a Pyrus and an Aquas. So now I'm three out of six on Reaper. That is amazing. Probably one of the most unique molds, if not one of the, I don't know, I'd say more rare, at least for me in my uh, state growing up. Did not have a lot of Reapers, so that is amazing. Moving on. It is a Ventus B1 Dragonoid. Everyone knows I have a ton of B1 Dragonoids if you've watched my B1 collection video. I don't have any Ventus Bakugan though, so definitely helping with that. That is going to be awesome. Ventus Dragonoid. And again, I am going to open these marbles, but I want to open them all together. So now I'm on to the second goodie bag. Let's go. Everybody loves a little goodie bag in the morning of Bakugan and Bakugan stuff. Everything and anything, it's all Bakugan. Ooh, that's actually really nice. It's a Ventus Falconeer? Falconor? I think it's Falconeer. Anyway, awesome because it's original attributes, so that's pretty neat. Definitely appreciate that, and it's, you know, it feels really good. Mine's kind of stuck, so you don't get that movement, right? You can't hear the movement. I actually love the uh, the fact that you can hear the movement, like you can hear the springs, there's some pushback. This one's probably going to open very well as compared to my uh, darkest one. So, yep, huge improvement for me. And the goodies just keep on coming. Everyone check this out. This is a Pyrus B1 Griffin. 
So I think this was one of Dan Cuzo's, like, I want to say it was canon, but I'm not 100% sure, like, this was on his team. I know he had a Serpanoid and a Saurus that he used before Drago, but he may or may not have had a Griffin. Either way, again, original attribute, or at least I'm pretty sure the original attribute for Griffin was Pyrus. Could be wrong, let me know in the comments down below, but yeah, awesome. It just keeps getting better and better. Next up, it looks like we have another Pyrus boy. Oh, and speak of the devil, what are the chances? Because these were wrapped up, I did not see them. Pyrus Serpanoid. So yes, I will be able to showcase that here in a second. Man, that is amazing. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for trading with me. Having all of these B1 goodies is amazing. And oh my word no way no flipping way no way it's an og garganoid whoa so this is a mold and a figure that i actually haven't seen that much of i almost don't know if this really is a garganoid but just because of the way the wing tops are i want to say that it is wow Look at the amount of detail into this gun. We got little feet pegs, the little hands here, kind of sticking out of little holes. Oh, that is amazing. Probably, oh, it's hard to say which one I'm most hyped for because these are all amazing. But whoa, an original Garganoid. All right, got to get a gate card now. Like there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. I guess that's, that's good enough, right? I don't want to flip the orientation of the camera too much. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. So let's slide these out of the way. And here's our good old Titan King. Move, cat hair. Uh, proof I have an animal. I'm just, just saying. Put those to the side. Oh, oh, oh. Boop. Got to get a gate card. Now, should I use Legacy or Reboot? Of course, asking that. I know none of you can reply. This isn't a live stream. So I'm just going to be grabbing a G3 card. It's closer, it's right there, it's called convenience. Now then, time to throw some bread! Throw some bread! Throw in the bread! And roll in some B1 Bakugan. Again, probably gonna miss every one of these rolls. Bulbasaur, okay, here we go. I have a lot of plastic, gonna move it out of the chair. And I had a Bulbasaur in my chair. Uh. Real life problems, right? Bulbasaur in your chair. So, I'm going to be attempting to roll B1 Bakugan. This couldn't possibly go bad, right? Yes! The first stand is perfect! We have an Aquas Centipod. This thing is so cool! I love it! I love it! Love the colors. So it looks like it has... I'm blind. 400 G power. Wow, so it's strong. Actually matches my Aquas Juggernoid. Well, I know I'm going to be putting that on the team with Juggernoid. Amazing Bakugan. Love the design. You know, it's so simple. But it's just one of those iconic B1 Bakugan that everyone knows, right? So cool. Put that right there. Yeah. All right. Next up. I don't know what should be next up. Uh, I guess I'll go ahead and go in the order of opening them. So we have the Ventus Reaper. I wonder if I could spin it. Ah! Well, I did. Didn't open, though. All right, try again. No! Ah! Don't fall. No falling off the table. That is definitely dumb ways to die. Yeah, I don't, don't want to drop your Bakugan. That, uh, that kills them. Roll, Reaper. I command you. Aha! You know, it only took five times. Here we have the Ventus Reaper. I gotta say, the purple on original Ventus Bakugan, I really like that color. I mean, the color palette is just so strong. Really good, vibrant. You know, they definitely stuck out. And Reaper's just one of those Bakugan in general, right? Like, iconic. And it looks like the B power for this one is 350. Not bad. I mean, it's not strong, but it's not horrible either. Still a really awesome Bakugan. Either way. 
And moving on to the Dragonoid. Yeah. Another Dragonoid. Everybody loves Drago. Well. Yeah, there we go. Technically, that was a stand. I'm not re-rolling. Dragonoid hit. Go ahead and get out the little manual bits. We got some feet here. Drago's iconic feet, which are like half of it. Then the horn. And here is Ventus Dragonoid. So I have Pearl Subterra, Pearl Darkest, Darkest, Aquas, Pyrus, and Ventus. I think the only Dragonoid I'm missing now um, in B1 is Chaos. And uh, I do have a B2 Chaos Dragonoid. Uh, that's this mold, but I do not have a B1. And 400 G power again. So a strong Ventus boy. Very nice. Looks like Dragonoid is going to be on my Ventus team. Very nice. Man, I can't believe I got so many B1s. Amazing. I really wasn't expecting all this. I Now I feel like the trade wasn't fair. Because these are real gems here. Alright, starting. I'm uh, going to go ahead and move on to the Falcon Falconeer. Yeah. I'm going to say Falconeer, but if that's wrong, please just correct me. There's hundreds of Bakugan names. Like, I'm not going to remember every single one, right? But yeah, I was right. Perfect pop, perfect stand, and it opened really nicely. Oh, listen to that click. Love it. It's almost like a brand new Bakugan. I'm jealous. Listen, listen, listen. Oh, that's perfect. A B1 Bakugan that opens and functions that well after so long is just amazing. But yeah, here is Falconeer. Hope so, hopefully. If the name's wrong, I really look stupid, but it does have a little fa manual feet pegs there. Very cool. And G power of 450. Wow. I mean, I know it's the original attribute, but that even kicks Dragonoid's butt by 50. Whoa. All right, here we go. Moving on to Pyrus. With the snake. We have a snake. We have a Pyrus snake. Or was the snake first? I think the snake was, was this the snake or Griffin? It was Griffin that was first. I don't know. I, I'm skipping to the snake. Ah, no, I missed. Don't miss. Really? Seriously, like, like I can't be this bad. Okay, all right, here we go, here we go. For real now. All right, it opened. Technically, in the Legacy game, that would have counted as a stand. So, I'm taking it. Here is Pyrus Serpenoid. Again, a basic design, but very iconic. I mean, this thing even appeared in one of the very first episodes. So, definitely going to knock it. Looks like it has a G-Power of 490. Strongest yet. <laughs> wow. Again, man, these Bakugan in their original attributes are super strong. There's a little tail piece that flips out as well i kind of want to show everyone there we go kind of finishes off the tail but yeah pyrus serpenoid so now i have darkest and pyrus for uh for this gone very awesome gonna have to find a new uh place to put all of my legacy bakugan so i don't get them mixed up with just like my, my regular ones is these are definitely special, but they don't fit in the Baku mail case uh, that was designed for G2. Moving on to Griffin. Maybe I'll pop it on the very first try. Yeah, well, second, but it's okay. Here we have, oh, look at that. Look at the coloring. The coloring is amazing. Zoom. I command you to zoom. There we go. Awesome coloring. The white with the blue eyes and claws and then the golden mane. Definitely a good coloring. B power of 370. Not bad. I almost expected a little more, but I'm not knocking it. Still pretty strong. And then it does have little feet uh, as well. Again, another iconic mold. One of my favorites. And I can actually put a Pyrus team together now. I've got Serpenoid, Griffin, and Dragonoid if I wanted, or Reaper. But the Pyrus Reaper I have is pretty weak. Very awesome, Griffin. All right, the final gone, the one that probably hyped me up the most because I wasn't expecting. It is what I believe to be Garganoid. But I actually don't know. I'll have to look. 
Well, it pulls to the right a little bit. Oh no, don't fall. No, 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 don't fall. Okay. There we go. Ooh, nice spin. And it is, it's Garganoid. Okay, awesome, awesome, awesome. So go ahead and get out the feet pegs. There we go, yep. And I think the horns flip up if I'm gentle. Yeah. All right. That is OG Legacy Garganoid looking awesome. The red head really just makes it stand out. Silver horns too. I didn't know that. That is really cool. Looking for a G power here. We have 480 Gs. I actually don't know Garganoid's original attribute in the Legacy series. Um, is it Darkest? I don't know. But either way, this is an awesome Bakugan. Definitely where it was not expecting this. Heck, this is a mold that I saw, like, you know, barely. Um, I think the only one I saw growing up was a Ventus Pearl one. And it had, you know, the purple head. But, yeah, this is amazing. Talk about a lot of B1s to add to the collection. Move that gate card out of the way now. I don't even know if they're all going to fit. I just being honest, I don't know if they're all going to fit. That's why I need I need something new. I need a new case. Look at all those. Look at all these B1s. I have a B1 collection now. Thank you. So awesome. Such some really cool Bakugan. But don't worry, everyone. I'm not going to make you watch uh, me put everything up. Um, that'll be off camera. So that's going to be it for this review. You know, we're already at 21 minutes. I don't want this to be too long of a video. So catch me next time in my other videos. I'll be taking a look at this beautiful titanium bruiser. And then at some point, I'm going to be opening My Little Pony. So, woo! Yeah, those are going to be in different videos. Because, uh, yeah, I guess this one focused on Legacy with those beautiful B1s. Thank you all for tuning in. If you have not subscribed to the channel yet, please do so. Because you know what? It keeps the lights on and it keeps my ability to make content ever so possible. Plus, I'm trying to hit 2K this year, right? New Year's resolution. Can I hit 2,000 subs? I'm going to need all of your help to do so. So thank you, brawlers, and please do that. Ring the notification bell so you don't miss any upcoming videos. And again, Saturday nights, I do live streams starting at 9 p.m. PST. That is my time zone. So hope to see you all there as well. Stay safe, drum up, and Bakugan brawl!